Welcome to Access 2010 Beginner Level 3, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class focuses on one of the fundamentals of Access Database Development, good table design. Specifically, we will cover most of the important properties for the fields in your tables. Today, we will learn about most of the important field properties, including field size, format, input mask, caption and description, default value, validation rule and validation text, the required property, and lots more. This course follows Access 2010 Beginner Level 2. I strongly recommend that you watch both Levels 1 and 2 before proceeding with today's lessons. Level 2 covers many important fundamentals, including form design, adding fields to your forms, manipulating form objects, formatting your form, themes, and using layout view. For more information on Level 2, please visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. This course is designed to be used with Microsoft Access 2010. If you're using Access 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along, as the two versions are very similar, and most of the material in this class is also valid for Access 2007. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should either upgrade your version of Access or visit my website and look for the Access 2003 tutorials. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The Expert series is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do, and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. When you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You will learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Access. Each of my series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level one. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, developer lessons. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have special seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in our interactive student forums. If you're watching this course using our custom video player software or online in the web theater, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching your lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by going to accesslearningzone.com slash forums. Here you can also subscribe to the forum updates and receive a notification anytime anyone posts a question or comment. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, 
replay the lesson from the beginning, and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. I'll do my best to try and help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. While I encourage you to actually build the database that I build in today's class, if you would like to download a sample copy of my database file, you can find it at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to begin looking at field properties. We'll start with field size. In lesson two, we'll talk about the caption field property and the description of a field. In lesson three, we're going to learn about the format and decimal places properties. In lesson four, we're going to learn about input masks. In lesson five, we'll learn about the default value property. In lesson six, we're going to learn about the validation rule and validation text properties.